What's up, punks? Jay here, and welcome to the next episode of the Shiny Academy Challenge. Now, uh, last week, uh, we actually found everything we were looking for. So, borderline, we can actually spin the wheel the first part of the stream. So, let us get on that, shall we? Okay, so our first hunt, our first hunt for tonight will be Ooh, Picky Peck. We shall go for a Picky Peck. Mm -hmm. Okay. And while we're setting that up, we'll finish off Stream Raiders. I'm glad I'm doing this now, really. Showdown? What's a showdown? I have no idea what that was. That's the first time I've ever seen that. Superstar Saint skin. <laughs> I'm getting sick and tired of those. These arenas are so awkward. Right, Piggy Peck means the tropical biome. And as far as I can tell, it's not the worst thing to look for. Right, let me just set it up. Work with me here. I gotta get into the right file. Almost there. Ah, uh, there we go. Picky peck. Size it a bit and then we're good. Alright. Now the question is, where would be the what would be the best sandwich to use for it? Uh, oh hang on. That's not right. That's better. Mm. 
Just checking if these work while we're here. Nitro 991 just redeemed remind me to drink water how evil. FG. Okay, I'm gonna have to sort that out. It's like, supposed to be it's only supposed to be like that when it's on the Sea of Thieves overlay. But yeah, now that's how sort it out. Alright. Question is, do we use a flying sandwich or a normal? I'd say flying because we'll just get dealings again. There you go, Trumbeak. So, yeah, if we find a two cannon or a Trumbeak as well as a piggy pack, we're good there, so. Just having a look. Grimer. Love this. Good Duck Trio. Oh. Not gonna lie, with all the f um, hype about Sea of Thieves, I've kind of um, not touched Pokemon in a while. I'm sure that's understandable, isn't it? Honestly, though, I really enjoyed myself the other day. Hey, well, yesterday, actually. Yeah, it was chaotic, and yeah, we even lost some treasure, but I didn't mind. I was even playing on my own. I even managed to get a Siren Shrine done. Definitely taking um, the crew into that at some point. Alright, I've made my mind up. We're doing a flying sandwich. Alright. Save. Yep, uh, yep. Did my effing clips go right? Alright. Don't know why, but I feel like I'm missing something. Maybe it's been that long since we've actually been able to spin the wheel at the beginning of the episode. Oh, what was the ingredient for um, flying types again? I think it was Prosecuto. And we'll start off with sour and spicy. A nasty sounding combination, if you ask me. At least prosecuto, pros, prosecuto. I, I'm sorry for anyone who actually knows the pronunciation of this cut of meat, but I just can't figure it out. Whatever it is, I can say it's easy to stack onto sandwiches, isn't it? So. Yeah, I got it right for once. Wow. Mark on the calendars, guys. Today was the day I got something right. Alright, Picky Peck. So as you can see on the screen, Picky Peck's forehead there, it goes from instead of a red to like more of a... Ooh. What'd you say? That's more of a... Reddish purple? Or no, more, it's more of a hot pink, in it? That's it. It's more of a hot pink. Mainly because the, sh the line kind of gives an a nod to the idea of thermal imaging like if something's hotter like it goes more of a purple color 
it's mainly a reference to the fact that two. It's a well-known fact that the beaks of the beak of a toucan is known to be its main source of heat. I still don't know why this thing wasn't a fire type. It, it makes so much sense for it to be a fire type. Heck, it's got the word cannon in its name. What's normal about a cannon? Unless you're a CFE player, that's pretty normal. <laughs> Da, 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 da. Oh, I bumped into a piggy bag. I thought I just got that song out of my head as well. What's exciting about this hunt is what's made me excited about doing the uh, flygon hunt, or the, the trap inch hunt. Every single member of its line I'm able to pick up right now. So it's not just Piggy Peck I'm looking for. I'm looking for Trombeak and two cannon. I did think for that, but this challenge through as a, as a whole, so. I'm just glad I ain't colorblind. Oh, why is it being a nightmare? Yes. I know a guy who is colorblind. It was, it's a nightmare for this guy to play the game because he, he's, he, he just, well, it's, he doesn't not know when he finds a shiny. Heck, I don't know if he even has found a shiny yet. Oh God damn it! Money. Maybe I should look along the beach. Because obviously the colours will stand out more on the sand. And else when there's hordes of uh, two cannons showing up everywhere. Yeah, this might be the way to go, actually. Actually, I might know an even better spot. The other beach uh, down, the way, down the way. It's longer and I don't think has a stag spawn. Yeah, we'll drive down to that beach. Let me see. Nope. Oh, nope. Nope. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. isn't it? I only have a small area though, so I don't think we'll be fine. Look. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Ugh. It's even worse for the fact that it's a remix of the Gen 5 battle theme, and this DLC is making me start to hate that theme. The, f the original theme was a gem.
uh, should some spawn around here. There we go. Some trumbeaks. This clock is bro this broken clock is right a few times, mates. Now it's just up to my luck, really, isn't it? Hmm. Can some of you turn around, please? Nope. Oh, never mind. Please proceed with your day. I'll break a Farigaraf. I'm really glad I didn't do normal then. What's happening with outbreaks? Jesus, an entire town flame outbreak. Uh, the idea of a town flame outbreak is exciting, really. I don't need a shiny town flame, but again, the idea of a, a town flame outbreak sounds cool. Can you imagine an entire flock of town flames? But then again, like uh, considering town flames are based on hawk, uh, falcons, and falcons are known to be solo animals, like they don't need flocks or groups to thrive in the wild. With it being a bird of prey. I know a lot about animals. Well, not everything. Gah, from a certain angle, that trumbeak looks shiny then. Yeah, you know how I mentioned the thermal imaging? Uh... Oh, it's a random braviary. Alright, oh, yeah, flying type, right. You know how I mentioned the thermal imaging? Well, that's kind of what Trumbeak and Toucanon really do with their shinies. They go for more like cooler colors in their beaks compared to what they normally have. You'll see when I find one. Where are you? Come on. It'll obviously be more um, visible what next to its mates, won't it? Thing is, if we find two cannon or trombic, it'll be way easier to figure out. Uh, uh, okay. I didn't see that. But yes, sir. Uh, if anyone watching this video plays Sea of Thieves or are, are, and are looking for the for a guild, uh, would I kindly recommend uh, that we have set up a guild now? We have called it the League of Mayhem. 
because everything we do uh, basically causes mayhem, so you get the point. <laughs> Either way, if you're up for joining, stop by on the stream every Friday at 7.30. And we'll, we'll gladly accept anyone that's willing to join and behave themselves. Ooh. Let me uh, sort that out. Hang on. Speaking about Tukens though, I remember seeing this one story on the internet where like, due to smuggling and malnutri malnutrition and I think just general injury, there was this Tukin that had his ent entire top half of its beak snapped off. It was horrible to look at really. But um, thanks to the way science has gone recently, they have they were actually able to replace the beak with an artificial one. And it did have some teaming troubles at first from what I saw, but it looked like it was getting used to it pretty quickly. It, it just shocked me how cruel people can be to animals, especially if it caused that much damage for a, a toque, for an entire beak of a toucan to snap off. It's horrible. Come on, I want to see the pink one. Mixing a little bit of white for that red. Not everything's black and white. It's pink too. What do you mean say it's pink? It's more like a hot pink. It seems like this beach is the best way to go. It's easier to spot our picky pecks without bumping into them. And yeah, we'd have to deal with uh, a guaranteed alone executor and maybe a crab roller. But we're fine. The more toucans and woodpeckers we see, the better, so. is being nice to me. Okay, so I'm just halfway through. Nope. Apologies for the quiet, I'm just focusing all the picky pecks and tr ah, I see. The Trump beaks in two cannons are not bad, so. We're fine with them, it's just the picky pecks out of the problem. It's good to at least know I've picked the right sandwich though. <sighs> Pardon me. How did I miss an entire two cannons stuck in a bush?
That is a very obviously red piggy peck. That is a red piggy peck. That is a thermal pick at uh, Trembeacon 2 cannon. I know what I'm doing after the stream. More Sea of Thieves. I need more money. Sorry, it's not you. It's me. I have no idea what that was a joke for, so... No joke, uh, my thumbs are getting sore from all this. Hmm. Yeah, I think I made the right choice with the sandwich type. Because, like, even though this area is more for, like, grass, fairy, and flying types, there are a few normal types that show up around here. That's a lot of two cannons. Enough to fill a pirate ship. <laughs> Alright, I got a fun uh, question of the day for everyone. Even though we barely do questions of the days. But, my question is, if you were to bring six Pokemon onto a pirate ship, what would they be? My first choice would be uh, like six two cannons, three on each side, and they'd literally be the cannons of the ship. <laughs> oh, what? something really, really weird happened as well. So, when I was heading back yesterday from doing some shopping, I uh, bought myself some cheeky little um, Pokemon packs, considering I felt like a change, and the fact that I haven't got any cards for a while. So I pulled them, and I got an alternate art Chatot card. The one Pokemon that's known to be like related to pirates in the Pokemon universe. I, I just thought that was so weird and coincidental. Like of all Pokemon I pick up, I pick up Chatot. So from that, from as this point on, the next chatter I find shiny, I'm nicknaming it Scarlet. <laughs> if you don't get why Scarlet, uh, put C the C of Thieves video launching tomorrow, or oh, on the 28th of uh, April. Ooh, pardon. Speaking of birds, where's the shiny picky pack? Is that a better location to look for this? Hang on. Town flame. No, it wasn't town flame. Weird. I better be careful staying near the tropical biome. A rowler could show up. 
That'll be exciting going after Rowlet. No, it's Rowlet. Like, he's, he's the Chad of Pokemon Stars. Yeah, nope, not that one either. Yeah, I'm sorry if I've had to look uh, out of focus in the camera. It's just I have to get closer to my screen so I can see if what in front of me is shiny. And obviously, everything I've been seeing so far hasn't been shiny. If I take a shot every time I say the word shiny, it'll be all cold in five minutes. It kind of gets rid of the point of the word, doesn't it? that trumpet. Nope. Nope. Oh, I hate this. I hate getting earwigs in my head. Like earwig songs, I mean. Let's stream it, isn't it? Um, why did it sound off twice? Two units, or someone puts someone on the field. Cool. already Jesus come on let this be a last minute thing Dang it. The more I do that, the more I waste time.
Why is it doing it twice? This is so confusing. Not shiny. You are 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 obviously not shiny because you are coded to never reset, so you are not shiny. I just wish I knew a good, reliable place where nothing but Picky Pick could spawn more frequently than this. I'm not in the mood to reset for outbreaks either. Actually, I think this isn't too bad. Yeah, alright, look for me. Hey, look! Haha! <laughs> A shiny two cannon! See what I mean? And it's marked as well. That's actually a really cool shiny. Let's get the files ready. Oh yeah, it's got this whole gimmick in it. It's got skill link. <laughs> Uh, what Pokeball works for this? Lobo? Mm. Let's try it. Lobo worked! <laughs> Ta -ta -da! We have a shiny two cannon! to go there. And we'll hide that. Alright, we'll send it to the boxes and then we'll see what Mark could have. Uh, first off, we save, obviously. We always got to save. Save, save, save. Save, 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 save. Two cannon the peckish. That's nice. Alright, we're doing good with marks today. We're doing good with marks today. A job well done. Alright, let's just uh, see about uh, stream raiders. Ignore that. Uh, let's go.
Maltzy Makes is joining us today. Let's go this way. I'm not the biggest fan of this theme. Not the fact that I just don't like sports like football, but... <sighs> Look at the placements of this. It's horrible. There. Alright then. The next hunt for tonight is going to be... First of the Alola Star is to be knocked off. And Wolf and Wolfie Glick's uh, least favorite Pokemon of all time. We're getting a lot of Alola Pokemon toyed out today. So yeah, just a fire sandwich, and I know there's just the spot to get just lit and spawn. It might be an idea to get rid of this one there. Ooh, what's that? Just a survivor. I still need a shiny survivor. Might do that all of my off time. You gotta give me for credit. You gotta give me some credit for doing that multitasking. <laughs> All right. Canyon biome. I wondering what that was on for a second. Okay, I need to be careful about where I put this fire sandwich, because if I'm in the wrong place, I'll spawn Tepic, not Litten. That's a shiny sauce bug. Well, I wasn't expecting to see that again. Hey, what are you gonna do? Right, let me put that outside of the academy box, because that's where that's gone. And put it in my regular shiny box. Oh yeah. Maybe I should evolve that into a Dust Noir before I send it over from Pokemon Go. Right. And, you see, that is why I always scam out along the Pokemon that spawn, because you never know when that's going to happen. And if I'm lucky, it might knock off a few Pokemon off the list before we even make any sandwiches. But yeah, but one of those Scrafties could have been. And that would have gotten Scraggy off the list. Mm-hmm. I wonder how they're going to implement Cleavor permanently now, considering it's a wild, a rare wild spawn in here.
And again, how you can implement the other forms as well. I expect it makes something called the Time Stone or something. Oh, Deadwig. Deadwig's the best Sinnoh star. Don't at me. Okay, if we just save here. Ah, we're good. This is a, a really good spot to look for Litten as well, because it's really refined, so it's nothing but Litten, and it's a very certified spot. Salty and bitter. I have to say, that two cannon came really late in the sandwich. I think it was like a few minutes off or something. If not seconds, because like, the sandwich ended by the time we caught it. Ooh. Yeah, that's me being a bit careless there. Just as long as we don't disturb that one pickle, we should be fine. See? No problem. Whew. Man, the silence is loud today, isn't it? Let's go cat hunting. See, look at all the lens are spawning, it's only been a few seconds. Yeah, we're going through a lot of lanes here. This is good, this. I think I'll say one thing about the, um... The theming of the music in the... Blueberry... In the Terrarium compared to Kitsukame. It feels a lot more grander than Kitsukame did. Obviously, Kitakami was more of a, a relaxing environment because of where it's supposed to be set, like in a really quiet village, like region. It's supposed to be a region, but it doesn't really feel like one. Either way. Um, but then here, like, it's showing off the maximum capabilities of one of these schools by showing off that they've got an entire environment dedicated to studying and catching Pokemon. So like, it's got all the literal bells and whistles and horns blaring at you. I wouldn't say literally whistle. Well, th that sounded a little bit like a whistle, but I'm sure it's not technically called a whistle. I know there are a lot of horns and trumpets in this background theme. I think it changes depending on, yeah, like, there's trumpets in the canyon biome. Um, like, those Jamaican drums in the tropical biome. And, uh, it's like, more piano-like keys when it comes to the polar biome, I think. I could be wrong with that. I'll find out, um, depending on which biome we're going to next.
Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, where are you? Again, um, apologies for the silence. Again, I'm just trying to focus on making sure I don't miss one. You like, you know that thing that happened with you, dude, all those eight ages ago and all that. Where I, like showed up for a split second and then it went. It, it more, more famously, go and look at the Tentacruel video. You'll see what I mean there. Dang it. There's a lot of cats everywhere. There is a joke that could be said, but I have self-control. Uh, I don't have much self-control, but I have self-control. Enough self-control to not make the joke. But you guys, uh, oh, you guys are grown-ups now. You you can put the dots together. I think it's safe to say that I've actually caught a lot of shinies in Scarlet and Violet. Mainly down to the fact that more Pokemon spawn more frequently in this game. Come 
Come on. Mario Key. Mario Hunter. It looks like the spawners are on both sides of that rock. Thing is, with where this is, do you think that the cat would um, stick out like a sore thumb? And it will when it shines. I can say that. Just letting them as many as I can spawn. That is the plan. Oh, hello. <laughs> Found it. We have found the white cat. Hmm. I'd say a premier ball would work with this. Uh, this thing's gonna have flablets in it. Good thing I saved after, though. I saved before. At least it's not using a... Uh... Oh, boy. At least it's not using its, uh... Flare Blitz. I forgot to check if I had a mark, so we're gonna have to check that in a minute. Whoa, that's a lot of damage. Okay, we might have to skip the Theatrix. Try Dusk Ball. You're really not staying, are you? I 
I guess three people then. Jesus. At this point, I might as well just try the timeable. I don't have any timeables. <laughs> Never mind. Luxury. Are you just being a snob? No. That's what I was worried about. Right, nothing but Ultra Balls now. I can't risk anymore. There you go. Wow, you took your time getting caught, didn't you, Lynn? I see if it had a mark. No, it didn't. Right. I sort out and then we'll. Oh, right. So far, this has been a successful stream. Two shinies down so far. Okay. That's where it needs to be, so. That's how much left on the sandwich. Halfway through. You know, while we're here, should we look for Tepig? Of course, it won't be the end of the world if it doesn't show, but... I got a good feeling it might. <laughs> and I know a really good spot to look for it. That is in the spot, but I might as well have a look at them. Here. There's a lot of piggies. I feel like maybe I should go back into black and white and use a Tepic. Mainly because just so I can just get what's good about it again. Whoops. I did not see the Joltic. Oh, Rotom, hello.
Just gotta go back and forth until I see a yellow pig instead of an orange pig. Funny thing is, there is such a thing as a yellow pig. Then again, it's not like where there is such a thing as an orange pig. I think there is, but obviously, as we all know, pigs are more known to be pink. Give me 700 crusty buggers. These pigs are showing to be a bit more trouble than I thought they would be. Question. Do pigs have any connection with France? I'm mainly just wondering because of the whole theories about what po what um, starters could be, well, starters for Pokemon Legends ZA at the beginning of next year. I think something that doesn't really help my situation here is the fact that all of the snouts are yellow. Yeah, I think my main thought process about Tepic here is like, we'll check if see if we can get it. It's not the end of the world if we don't, because if we don't, then there's a good chance we will come back to it with the challenge. And actually, this will be my first ever shiny Tepic, actually. I've never had a chance to shiny hunt one. I've already um, got a superior because I built one for VGC when I found out how good it'd be when it's using um, the Stella, Stella Terra type. And trust me, it's fun to use a superior these days. In fact, that might be the Pokemon I'm missing for the team I'm currently building. And obviously I've got a lot of um, Oshawott's um, from the... From, Scar from Legends Arceus for the fact that that was a starter. Where are ye? 
Uh, stream is ready for when we're done. I don't know if anyone's added anything. Oh, five units! Someone has shown themselves today. I hope they've come into the chat and say hello and break the silence. I am lonely. David K. Beast Wars Megatron is awesome. I feel like watching some Beast Wars. With how this resetting thing works with um, resetting all the tech eggs, I thought I would have found one by now. Again, it's fine, but it's weird. Extremely weird. Wipe all the piggies! It's like Charlotte's Web, the rated R edition. Where Wilbur just doesn't stop the butchers from getting him, and next we know he's next week's bacon sunny. <laughs> Ooh, got pins and needles and whammy legs. Oh god, that's, that's a weird numb feeling. Not them lot. Not them lot. Nope. Two minutes left. Then we'll just move on and evolve uh, Lim. You know, it'd be really funny is if we rolled the wheel again and it lands on Tepig. That would be funny. Oh, 
What's that one like? Mm, no. Okay, I'm checking that one. That one looks a bit suspicious. No, flipping hell. Flying in this game is the worst part about it. Forty seconds. Recollecting on all the uh, past sandwiches we've done for the challenge, the best one had to have been the one where we did Duraladon, because we found four Duraladon from one sandwich. That was nuts that day. I couldn't believe it. That's a sign to say that the sandwich is done. <clears throat> yeah, it's done. Alright. Save, and then let's evolve. Let's turn into Incineroar. No one. I'm going again. There. Okay, I think Tora Cat Shine is kind of like the best one out of the three. Darkest Lariat. I have a decent nature for what Incineroar needs as well. Another job well done. Right. Let's get the wheel up for, let's see, might, what well, might possibly be the last time, but first let's do stream readers. Let's just maybe put Twitter page, you don't need to see that. Ah, Motsy makes again. Jesus Christ. This guy looks like he knows what he's doing. Oh my God. Developer of Atrium Shift and lover of voxels. Huh, it's a game developer. Sweet. I'll give him a follow off of the thanks. I 
let's get this going for the last uh, thing for the day. I do kind of want to let Tori know about this, but I think they're busy with um, their D&D session today, so I'll just leave it. Although I've got a funny feeling they're going to whack me with that newspaper when they find out. <laughs> right. Okay, so what could possibly be the last hunt of the night? It will be... I thought I already found... Oh, hang on. I didn't... I already found you, Piter. I thought I removed him. Yeah. Ignore that one. Uh, our last hunt of tonight will be... Oh, thank God. Oh, oh. I nearly landed on Cyndaquil. Woo! Right, Snubble. Not my favorite Pokemon, but it would have been better than Cyndaquil. Oh, that was too close. I might have to start researching how you actually do do that hunt soon. Where's Snubble? Ah, here it is. I'm just blind. From a woodpecker, to a cat, to a bulldog. Or more of a toucan, really. Now, if I remember correctly, Snubble spawns on the mountain in the biome. In the polar biome. We'll do the sandwich here and work from. We'll work with this. Yes. I think Snubble might be in my top 10 least favorite Pokemon. But hey, uh, it's a report your soul situation, really. I did say every new Pokemon I was added to the DLC. I need to pick up some tomatoes, sour and spicy, and some Heaven Mystica before next week. on the tip then.
There we go. And if the same thing happens in this hunt, we'll jump over to Comfey after we've, if we find it in, in a good enough time. Yeah, I think we might need to be careful about the milseries. Extremely careful about the milseries. Hey, we're getting a good amount of nobles, I'll say that. And there's a full on Granbull. Okay, we could bump into Granbull. Interesting information to find out. Let's check down here. I oh, know that snubble just jumped. Yeah, this is more milcery's cup of tea. Eh. Milk tea. Eh. Boom boom. No snubbers over there. Whoa! Jeez, I nearly ran into a grand bull there. Good lord. We were trying to head to the bathroom after a bad Nando's. I'm sorry for that joke. That's funny, I never had a Nando's. Mainly because of all the stories I've heard about how you always have problems after you've had it. I've been to Chiquito. I've been to Chiquito before. That place is nice. Oh, the tacos I had there were amazing. Part of some like red onion rings. Like I, I don't really like that sort of stuff. Okay, this looks good. This area looks alright. Come on, I'm a dog person. Dogs love me. Or is it just me being um, impatient again?
You know, now I'm in the polar biome and I was talking about themes earlier. I can't click what instruments are used in this, in this music. It sounds like it's more trumpets, but less impactful. Any music um, fanatics in the comment section, let me know what music instrument you think this is that's playing um, over the polar biome. I can hear pianos in the background. I think maybe a flute? So no, no, a clarinet, that's it, a clarinet. I can hear a clarinet in the background. A tambourine. Or is it jingle bells? Yeah, they sound more like jingle bells. Yeah, that's a, that's a clarinet or a flute. That's either a xylophone or a piano. Might more likely be a xylophone, though. Or is it a glockophone? Uh, there, there are different variants of a xylophone that have different names, so. That's a lot of snubbles. Yeah, that, that sounds like a horn or a trumpet. Or maybe even a trombone. Again, I'm, I'm not a music person, so I don't know what that brass instrument is. I know it's a brass instrument from the sounds of it. But then there's stuff like the clarinet and the, and the jingle bells um, in, the, in the background of the main vocals, of the main um, instrument. I think I'm overstimulating my head with what I think are thoughts, but just opinions and guesses. Oh, I might know a better place to look for this. It's like what happened with the uh, sauce buck. Always gotta sloop low and see if we find what we're looking for.
<sighs> peaceful. It is peaceful. Nope, you two aren't shiny. I don't want you. Nope, I already got you last week. Nada. Nope. There won't be anything down there. I wonder. The area I was looking min for Minio at. I remember seeing Grambles and Snubbles spawning up here before. Bingo. This is literally the best thing I could do. This is the best um, idea ex machina I've ever had. I'm I'm keeping that as an official term for the channel. Idea ex machina. There we- my idea X mark gonna work, lads! Ha <laughs> ha There we go, lads. That's marked as well. Idea X mark it We'll jump over to see if we can grab Comfe. Come on. Last resort. <laughs> Bit of a random move, you ask me. There we go. Shiny Snubble Court. Is that a modest nature? How much time we got left? Half an hour again? Huh. Hey, 15 minutes. Right, let's jump over to the tropical biome and see if we can get a confe. Because as far as I remember, there aren't any more fairy types in the polar biome we can have a look at.
I better be careful, I could also find a cottony. Just a random Alolan muck. Okay, this is where Conface spawn. Yeah, I think this will be my first Conface as well. Actually, that Snubble was my first Snubble as well, but. For a good reason, I just didn't want to look for one. Oh, why is Conface shiny again? I know it's got something to do with the color blue, but I don't think the flowers turn blue. Oh, I just can't remember, really. Overall, th this stream has been a massive success, shiny-wise. We got enough free uh, shiny quota in and everything. This was a good shiny hunting stream. I might be pushing my luck trying to get Tepig and now Comfe, but hey, I'm I'm just playing with the luck I've been given, really. The luck's giving me this extra time to get uh, any random Pokemon I want from the list. That's kind of why I'm not adding it to the overlay unless I find it, because it's not a target, it's just a desire to find it. Even though that's just basically the defined definition of a something that you want. I'm not very good at English manning, English speaking man personing. But... What are we going to do about that? There's nothing we can do. Until people actually accept the idea that I am absolutely stupid, I've got to keep saying it. Did every single confet I just went ramp went past just chase after me? I honestly think Confe is kind of an underrated Pokemon. In terms of design and usefulness in battle. But yeah, it's not supposed to be an attacker. It can dish out damage if it can do, but its main priority is to be a support option. Its ability basically gives a priority to any move that will involve any kind of healing, including its signature move. It is really, really useful in a battle. And frankly, I do want to use it one day, but at the moment, the meta is just too out of the way for Comfe. If anything, it's just 
too shied away from the idea of doing that instead of just you just put a berry on a Pokemon which in my opinion kind of feels kind of cheap and not really full out well but for some reason it still works and I'm just trying to pick up any conversation I can think of <laughs> oh God. I think I'm losing my mind the guys oh wait I never had a mind I'm crazy. Star graved crazy. I I I can't remember what shiny comfy looks like. Seven minutes. Sorry, sorry, I didn't realize I was out of frame again. Come on, come fair. There's a luau here with ukulele players singing Aloha Oi. That's the only thing I think of that Confe might be interested in. She'll do that to finish off the stream, but for now we are busy looking for sentient hula uh, bracelet uh, necklaces. Ugh. I remember when the Sun and Moon games were coming out, and they just debuted every Pokemon in the decks, and it, it just lost the entirety of the surprise factor. Like, it was exciting building up to the game, but when the game came out, we'd seen everything that the, the region had to offer. So it, it just was not much to, to really get excited about. Except for the champion theme. The champion theme in that game was absolutely amazing. Nope. Nope. 
Nope. I feel like something that Pokemon always seems to get better and better every time they do it. Like the champion themes, and just the battle themes in general. It feels like they get better and better every time we go a generation. It probably started to get going in Gen 5, like with the, the Gen 5 uh, gym battle theme. That was a slap. And then the, the idea that the the music changes when you reach the gym leader's last Pokemon. Genius move. And how crescendo it looked, it sounded, it was amazing. Gen 6 elements took a step back, but I have to admit the champion's theme felt really nice to go through. They kind of felt like a proper... a proper sit on a stage and show us what you've got moment. I mentioned the Gen 7's champion theme, that was good. Oh, Gen 8, oh, the sounds in that game, it was Sword and Shield. Alright, we start off with, uh, oh yeah, uh, the wild area may have been generic uh, at this point, but when there was a big, like, grand blast of music playing like that, realizing how much you got to walk around, it felt good. The gym theme, oh my god. God, it's almost traveling Gen 5 that one. And even did the change the music when you get into the final Pokemon bit that I love from Gen 5. And then there's the little sound of like, it sounds like the audience is chanting along. It's really good that. Champions theme was good as well. Uh, team yells theme, not the best, but I could see where they were going with that. I think the one theme I really didn't like for Sword and Shield was Harp's theme. It just felt so generic and wrong at the same time. Gen A had some good ones as well. Uh, Team Star's theme, Penny's theme, the, the atmospheric theme of Area Zero, the Gym Bell theme again did good because they did the chanting again. And the change of music when you're on a new Pokemon. Or not when they're on the last Pokemon. Oh, and that uh, bit of music that plays when um, your legendary fights the other legend, the, the cloned copy legendary. That was a really good bit of music as well. Oof, that was a lot of talking. Alright, under two minutes left, and then we'll sort out Snubble evolving it into Gramble. Yeah, I think I might need a rain check to find out what Comfy's shiny was again. Because, again, I know it needs to be blue, at least around its main body. But I'm not really telling a difference. Or that I'm just being unlucky, and it is quite obvious. I was wondering why that chicken we just spawned them. Yeah, that's everything. 
Alright. Let's go on the beach and evolve Snubble. It should do. Yeah, I need to remember to get some Heaven Mystica before the next stream next week. <laughs> Let's have a look at Snubble's, uh... Mark. Aw, oh, Snubble the Snoke for Lika. That's nice. Still hate Snubble though. Oh, that greedy that shade of yellow looks horrible. Ugh. I just do not like that evolution I just do not like that family of Pokemon ever. I'm just glad it's out of the way. Alright, that's us done on the Pokemon side. Let's jump over to Stream Raiders and then get things finished off. I want. Right. This may take a bit. Have a look at this. Oh, I can upgrade my vampire. Blah blah blah. All right, we're done. All right, that'll be it for today's stream. Uh, once again, we've we've done really good today when it comes to shiny hunting. Views, yeah, that's normal. But oh well. But yeah. Uh, when it comes to shiny hunting, we've gotten three off the list, and yeah, we're one step closer to finishing the challenge. And yeah, um, we're still dreading the day when we have to finally hunt shiny hunt Cyndaquil. Not that Cyndaquil's a bad Pokemon, it's just where it sits is t dreadful, so uh, we're going to have to work on that. But either way, thank you all for watching. If you like the content, please consider liking and subscribing. But I don't know what else to say about YouTube, just that. <laughs> And yeah, um, in the comments, uh, question of the day, what six Pokemon would you take to a pirate ship? Alright, uh, that's all for today, and I'll see you all next time. See ya.